Hi, we're at Thigh High Gardens in San Marcos, Texas, a sustainable agriculture learning center and a, a outdoor venue. Um, what we're gonna do today is prune a established four-year peach tree, and they have gone through their, the appropriate prunings for, their, for the first few years of their lives. What we're gonna work on first on this tree is, is cleaning out some of the, what's called the inside growth, which are branches that face towards the center of the tree, because on peaches, we want our fruiting branches to be up and away from the center of the tree for even light and for even airflow. What you wanna do is leave what's called a collar. So we wanna leave a little stub there. If we cut too far and we cut past that collar, we're actually cutting into the branch that we're trying to prune off of. And that just allows the tissue to dry out and it doesn't encourage disease into the wood or bark of the tree. And we're also just gonna get branches that are facing inward. So you can see on this guy, it's facing the inside of the tree. And while this is um, the appropriate size for a, a fruiting piece of, of peach wood, it's in an improper location. Here's another one that's too close to the inside. This one right here that's growing up and in is gonna go also. Actually, yeah, take it off. You can see these are la last year's fruiting wood that are much longer than the pieces that we're trying to keep for this year's fruiting wood. So we're gonna take these guys out. They're also on the inside. We'll get these low twigs too. Cut that back a little bit more. The branches I'm cutting are gonna, most of them are less than an inch thick. So I'll use a pair of um, bypass uh, hand printers. We have another branch that's growing. It's on the outside, but it's it's too low and it's trying to come up through an area of the, of the tree that we're gonna keep for fruiting. So this one's gonna go too. And what we're ultimately trying to do is keep last year's twigs that, that came out from last year's prunings on the ends of our scaffold branches. And at this stage in, in peaches growth, you're taking you know, anywhere from 30 to 40% of the, the twigs off the end of the tree. One of the other major steps when pruning fruit trees is to remove any growth that's coming out of the rootstock. This twig coming out of the base is a different type of peach than the peach I'm trying to grow. So what I'll do is I'll cut this because otherwise this thing will grow vigorous and it'll grow faster than my graft will. The best time to prune most trees is when they're dormant. The dormancy of peach trees can, can last all the way into to late February, early March, depending on the year. They can leaf out as early as mid-February, early February, it just depends on the winter. You can see the buds enlarge, so they'll, they'll be flat against the branch, and as we get closer to the, where the, when they're gonna emerge, they swell up. And the reason why people keep peaches short and, and reachable is because they're a fruit that you can't shake out of the tree, the wood's not strong enough to climb in, so people keep them at this shape for picking. 